International Code on Intact Stability, IS Code, 2008. The purpose of the code is to establish mandatory and recommendatory stability criteria for various types of ships. This code provides mandatory requirements in Part A and recommended provisions in Part B. It provides criteria and guidelines to prevent ships from capsizing or losing stability due to external forces like wind, waves, or improper loading. The code applies to all ships covered under the SOLAS Convention. Why is it important? Ensures the safety of ships, crew, passengers, and cargo. Provides a standardized framework for ship design and operation. Reduces the risk of maritime accidents caused by stability failures. Real-life example, the MV Estonia ferry disaster. 1994, this Baltic Sea ferry capsized due to a faulty design that allowed water to flood the vessel rapidly, which was after-effect operational error of the bow door, contributing to a loss of stability and the tragic disaster. 1. Objectives of the IS Code 2008 Primary Objectives Ensure ships have sufficient stability under all operating conditions. Prevent accidents caused by loss of stability, such as capsizing or excessive rolling. Provide uniform international standards for intact stability. Address modern ship designs and operational challenges, such as container ships and offshore vessels. Secondary objectives. Promote safe loading and unloading practices. Ensure compliance with stability requirements during all phases of a voyage. Example. A container ship must maintain stability even when carrying stacked containers, which raises the ship's center of gravity. The IS Code 2008 provides specific guidelines to ensure such ships remain stable. 2. Key Concepts of Intact Stability Intact Stability The ability of a ship to return to its upright position after being healed, tilted, by external forces like wind, waves, or shifting cargo. Stability is critical for the safety and operational efficiency of a ship. Key terms. Metacentric height, GM, a measure of a ship's initial stability. Higher GM means greater stability, but excessive GM can cause uncomfortable rolling. Riding lever, GZ, the lever that restores the ship to an upright position. The GZ curve is used to evaluate stability at different angles of heel. Angle of heel, the angle at which a ship tilts due to external forces. Free surface effect, the reduction in stability caused by liquids moving freely in partially filled tanks. Practical example, if a ship's GM is too low, it may not recover from a heel, leading to capsizing. Conversely, if the GM is too high, the ship may roll excessively, causing discomfort or cargo damage. 3. Stability Criteria in IS Code 2008 the IS Code 2008 outlines specific stability criteria that ships must meet. Area under the GZ curve. The area under the riding lever curve up to 30 degrees must not be less than 0.055 meter radians. The area up to 40 degrees, or the angle of flooding, must not be less than 0.090 meter radians. Maximum GZ value. The maximum riding lever, GZ, must occur at an angle of heel not less than 25 degrees. Initial GM. The metacentric height, GM, must not be less than 0.15 meters. Weather criterion. Ships must withstand wind and rolling motions without capsizing. This criterion ensures stability under severe weather conditions. Example, a fishing vessel operating in rough seas must meet the weather criterion to ensure it can withstand strong winds and waves without losing stability. 4. Special Requirements for Specific Ship Types Passenger Ships Enhance stability criteria to ensure the safety of passengers. Must account for high freeboard and large superstructures. Fishing Vessels Specific rules to account for operational conditions like heavy rolling and icing. Container Ships Consideration of cargo loading and securing to prevent shifting. Must account for high centers of gravity due to stacked containers. Offshore supply vessels. Stability during dynamic operations like lifting and towing. Bulk carriers. Must address risks like cargo liquefaction and free surface effect. Example, a bulk carrier carrying iron or must ensure the cargo does not liquefy, as this can drastically reduce stability and lead to capsizing. 5. 
Operational considerations. Loading conditions. Ships must maintain stability in various loading conditions, such as light ship, no cargo, fuel, or ballast. Ballast, ship loaded with ballast water for stability. Full cargo, ship loaded to its maximum capacity. The stability booklet provides approved stability data for all conditions. Free surface effect. Liquids in partially filled tanks can shift, reducing stability. Tanks should be either fully filled or completely empty to minimize this effect. Wind and wave forces. External forces can cause healing and rolling. Ships must be designed to withstand these forces without losing stability. Example, a tanker carrying oil must manage the free surface effect by ensuring its tanks are either full or empty during transit. 6. Importance of the IS Code 2008 Safety Ensures the safety of ships, crew, passengers, and cargo. Reduces the risk of maritime accidents caused by stability failures. Standardization Provides a uniform international standard for ship stability. Promotes consistency in ship design and operation. Operational efficiency. Helps ships operate safely in various conditions, including rough seas. Ensures compliance with international regulations. Example. A passenger ferry operating in tropical regions must comply with the IS Code 2008 to ensure it can withstand sudden squalls and heavy rains. Thank you for watching the video. For more marine topics, please subscribe the channel. Please help us with your valuable feedback to improve the contents.